Hey, did you tuck yourself in the blankets? <laughs> Hey everyone, welcome back. Rebecca Jean here with Style My Sweets. Today I'm bringing you Amazon home decor DIYs, home decor that you can make on a budget and you can order pretty much everything from Amazon. So I wanted to give like a little disclaimer that the first DIY I actually picked up one of the pieces from a thrift store. Um, but it's something that's you can probably get it on Amazon as well, no problem, but it's gonna be a lot cheaper and more budget friendly if you pick one up at a thrift store, a flea market. Um, I know I've seen these all the time in Goodwill. So yes, keep an eye out for one second hand. You may even already have one laying around your home that you can upcycle. So let's go ahead and jump into these. There are three home decor DIYs. They're gonna make great gift ideas as well. So comment and let me know which one is your favorite and please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy. Let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so for this one, I'm carefully taking it apart and keeping the frame and the matting. I really liked how this frame came with the matting in here and the picture is just a paper print, so I don't need that. This one is actually the only one where I'm using a frame I got from the thrift store. Or maybe you want to repurpose an upcycle one you already have in your home, that works too. But I always find cool frames at Goodwill or other flea markets, thrift stores, places like that. And then if the color isn't working for you, you can just totally paint the frame. I'm actually gonna just be covering the back board from this frame with some canvas. Now I got this on Amazon and I'll link it down below. You can probably find some in a craft store as well. But I ordered this large piece of canvas from Amazon. I did iron it to kind of get out any of the wrinkles and just make this really neat and fresh looking first. And then I hot glued the edges all the way around onto this board and I attached it to the board that came in the back of that frame. I should mention that I actually have a ton of canvas left over for future projects, which is really cool too, because it was a large piece that came for that price. I think it was like six feet by nine feet. So I have a lot of canvas left over, but that is fine. I will use that for some future projects. And then I added the matting back on top and lay out your palm branches first. So I got these dried palm branches on Amazon. I'll link them down below as well. I'm not gonna lie, when these came in the mail, I thought that they were actually a lot smaller than I was imagining. I mean, I know that they said what size they were, but somehow I was just picturing them to be a lot larger, to kind of where I would maybe have like just two jumbo leaves in this large frame. But instead, I ended up using four out of the five that I purchased on this art piece. But I actually really, really love how it came out. I think it looks perfect. And this frame is huge, by the way. So actually, it's probably good that the palms aren't too big or they probably wouldn't work if you had a smaller or medium size frame and artwork that you were making. So they're probably a pretty good size. I just had a huge frame and ended up using four of them to get just a look that I liked, but you can totally arrange them however you want. So definitely lay them out first, get an idea of like where you want them to start and lay or overlap or how you want them before you actually glue them down. And they are pretty lightweight, so you need just a little bit of hot glue to attach them. Like I said, they're pretty lightweight. I just use some glue like under the palm leaf part where it would be touching the canvas. And then also on the bottom part of the stem, like wherever was like the thickest part of the stem, glued that down as well. And that worked out pretty great. Pop this back into the frame. Again, I'm not gonna use the glass cover either. I'm gonna let this just be a natural textured piece of wall art. I absolutely love this. And you are just ready to hang this up. I think this came out so gorgeous. It's beautiful. It's perfect for a natural boho vibe. But you know, it's also got some subtle coastal, tropical vibes going on too. I just absolutely love it.
For the next one, I'm taking a set of marble backsplash tiles from Amazon. I think you can also pick these up possibly in like Home Depot or Lowe's, but I just ordered them on Amazon to make it simple. Sometimes I don't get out much, so it's a little easier to order from Amazon. And anyway, we're gonna make some beautiful marble coaster tiles out of these. So you'll wanna separate each tile. So I had to pull them off of that like mesh backing. And then I just sanded down any of the rough edges underneath, kind of like from that glue adhesive that was on there. So just sand down anything underneath or on the sides that's a little rough, get it pretty smooth. And then we're painting on some adhesive around that outside edge. Mod Podge, honestly, should also work pretty well I think so if you don't want to use the metal leaf adhesive um, try Mod Podge and I got a pack of silver gold and copper metal leaf so if you just want one single color you can probably find it cheaper although I'll put the link for this multi pack because I have been using silver gold and copper because I've done gifts for people and things like that and this way I just kind of had like a combination pack on hand so and I love the case that this comes in because sometimes it just comes in like a little baggie and having it in this like snapping plastic case just really keeps it more neat and organized, I think. So for today, I'm going to do the silver because I'm giving this one to my sister. I know she loves silver and that fits with all of her home decor. And I also did a set of these previously a few months ago in the copper rose gold color. I did them for me a couple months ago. They came out great and they have held up perfectly. So cover the edges neatly and thoroughly with that foil leaf now. You just press, you put your adhesive on and then press it down into the foil leaf. Make sure that it's completely covered. Now you want to let the foil leaf dry thoroughly, probably at least like a few hours. And then you can take a dry paintbrush and just brush off any excess foil leafing. And I'm also going to add some cork foam underneath so that when you use these coasters, obviously you don't want them scratching your table. You want your table protected. So I got a whole sheet of this cork foam dollar tray which it's plenty to do a set of four coasters for just a dollar and it does have an adhesive backing so you can just trace the outline of your tile piece here cut out that foam and just peel and stick super easy and then we're going to brush a sealant coat over the top to protect it i actually just used some gloss mod podge for this and just brush that carefully all over the foil leaf on the edges to protect it and it worked out great i tied up a set of four of these now with some beautiful ribbons and this makes a lovely little birthday or housewarming gift or an addition to a gift basket so pretty and so practical and really easy and fun to make the last one is an acrylic pour and I had a bunch of requests to share this large canvas wall art painting with you guys so I'm going to include it now in this video and I'll show you guys how I made it. Again, I got everything on Amazon so I'll have all the links down below to make it easy for you to find these things and these paints that I'm using although sometimes craft stores do sell certain paints for less than they are on Amazon so I'm going to try to link wherever I can find it for the cheapest at the time that I'm uploading this video and yeah so I'll have all the links below for that. paints and the first one that I have this was a little bit on the thicker side here but this one is by Liquitex and in the color tallow cyan I think some it's a shade of cyan ready to pour pouring paint in in the 24 karat gold metallic deco art dazzling metallics in shimmering silver this is already a pretty thin paint but i did add a little bit of my um, liquitex pouring medium with the gloss finish into here as well liquitex blue gray i think this is just a really pretty soft neutral blue and i really like this one i do have a little bit of black that i'm going to use along with Eviary Blue by Folk Art. This is another acrylic paint and this is just so soft and light and just a really pale blue. So I think this one's gonna be just maybe a nice light complement color. The first thing I'm gonna do is add some white paint on top and just get this 
going. All right, I don't know. I've got these drips here. I think I'm gonna go ahead and get started anyway, and I think that will um, spread out as we go. So I'm gonna do white in there first. Then I'm going in with that cyan color. Beans gray, blue gray, and then that really light blue. Side, I'm going to do the reverse and go from lighter to darker. I'm also going lighter to darker over here. much paint left so I'm going to add the remainder here and then I'm just gonna go ahead and start tipping this to even out the paint we're gonna just see what we end up with I am gonna add a little bit of gold into this one though And here is how it turned out. I did give it about 72 hours to dry before giving it a quick spray of some acrylic paint sealer just to help protect it from any sunlight and fading over time and it gives it a nice glossy finish. Comment and let me know, would you keep the gold in here or if you were gonna make this, do you think it would look better if I left the gold out? I'm kind of thinking I should have just done the silver, gray, whites, and greens and just left the gold out of here. But comment, let me know, do you like the gold or not? And anyway, here is how this one turned out. I will have everything linked down below that I used if you're trying to recreate this. Thanks so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed these Amazon home decor DIYs. Comment below and let me know which one was your favorite. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, which if you're still here, you probably did. And also consider subscribing before you go. I would love to have you. As always, I wish you a beautiful and blessed day and I will see you guys soon in the next one. Bye.